Hello, good to see you. My name is Tony, FM DNA. Back for another tactic testing video. The tactic we're testing out is Run Like How. It's a nap tactic, so it's longer than that. AP103, all the cups. There's different variations, but this is this one. Uh, a very good looking 4 3 3. Very, very attacking. Equals one thing a lot, a lot of goals. If you want to download this tactic, it will be in the description below. If you can't download it for any reason, follow what I'm going to show you a little bit later on. But before we get into it, you can please leave a like comment subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss a bit of me be much appreciated i am going to be giving away a copy of fm23 not in this video but it will be coming soon so please stay tuned so let's run into this tactic now so what do we have in goal we've got a sweeper keeper on attack there will be some added instructions and if you've seen in my videos before you know i don't talk about them so pause it when need be we've got a complete wing back attack on the left hand side we've got a ball playing defender on defend We've got another ball playing defender on defend. We've got a complete win back attack on the right hand side. We've got a roaming playmaker on support with loads of add-on instructions. We've got central midfielder attack with even more added on instructions. Mazala attack. False number nine on support on the left hand side. False number nine on support on the right hand side. And in the middle, advanced forward attack. Custom style is a tick attacker. Mentality, very attacking. Like I say, it's going to be a lot of goals. In possession, what do we have? Attacking width wide. Underlap on the left. Underlap on the right. Passing directness shorter. Tempo much higher. Time wasted never. Low crosses. Work the ball into the box. In transition, what do we have? Counter press. Counter. Distribute to centre back. Out of possession, what do we have? Much higher line of engagement. Standard defensive line. Defensive whip standard. Trigger press much more often and prevent short goal kick distribution. So that is it. So what do we do here? We choose three teams. Main City, West Ham and Norwich. Season pupils for in this first, 10th and 20th. We leave the assistant manager in charge. He has to play this tactic. And then we check out the results at the end of the season. And we put it into our fun tactic testing league table. It's all about the fun. Right. This is uh, Main City's best to learn about restrictions. I can see they're going to be playing Sterling as the advanced forward. So I imagine he's going to score quite a few goals. Let's get to the results. So it's not the great start of Main City. We lost against Leicester in the Community Shield 3-2. We lost against Fulham in the Carabao Cup semi-final. We did beat Reading 11-0 along the way. Hull City and Tottenham. Not great. Not a great start. In the FA Cup, a little bit better, but not by much. We lost against Liverpool 2-5 in the semi-final. We beat Chelsea, Watford, Brentford and Blackpool along the way. In the Champions League group stages, very, very good. 18 points, Goldham's a 16, we conceded 9, we scored 25, we won 6 out of 6, didn't lose a game, Barcelona coming third. In the knockout rounds, we played Atletico Madrid, we beat them, Man United, quarter-final, beat them, thrashed them 5-1, 2-0, played Paris Saint-Germain, we lost 1-0 away from home, and in a 3 all draw at home. Sadly, only got to the semi-final, but on the good news, on the good front, we got 102 points in the league. That's the most I've seen for a very long time. 87 goal difference. We only lost two games. We drew three and we won 33. 133 out of 38, which is great going. Wolves 6-1, Watford 5-1, Southampton 5-1. No nine nils, but a lot, a lot of goals. Sterling is the top goal scorer. 30 goals. Kevin De Bruyne with 19. A good little partnership of 49 goals for the pair. Average rating-wise... Bernardo Silva, a 7.88. Kevin De Bruyne, Sterling, Diaz, Grealish, Laporte. A load of guys. Very, very good. Clean sheets. I'm not expecting many. 10 clean sheets. 7th place. That's actually not bad considering we are very attacking. We're straight on the team overall view. 2.68 most points per game, which is very good. 131 goals. Amazing. Most shots for 929. Fewer shots against, 6th place for 435. Best pass completion, most possession, we're just skipping on. Most tackles won, 6th place, 630. Most draws made, 2nd place, 476. Most clean sheets, 7th place, 10 clean sheets. Fewest conceded, we only conceded 44, 6th place. That's not bad, considering we are very attacking. I say, conceded 44, we scored 131. That's a good partnership. That's a good partnership to have. Cup wise, not the greatest. Semi final, runner up, but 102 points. And when it's this fun tactic testing league table, that's the main thing that counts 102 points. Now, let's check out West Ham. So it's the start of the season, and it can only mean one thing 
show us your best 11 without restrictions. So this one's it. And we've got Bowen as advanced forward. So is he going to score more goals than Sterling? Sterling scored 30 goals. Let's check it out. In the Carabao Cup, we got knocked out in the quarterfinal against Man City 3-4. We beat Tottenham a long way, beat Southampton 3-1 in the FA Cup. We got to the final and sadly lost against Liverpool 3-0. We beat Brighton on penalties, beat Barnsley, beat Derby, Chelsea 7-4. Oxford nearly knocked us out. Uh, so that's not bad at all. Shame we just couldn't beat Liverpool in the final. In Europa League group stages, we topped it with 18 points. A goal difference of 25. We only conceded three goals and we scored 28 in the group. Amazing. In the knockout rounds, it went very well. Beat Celtic along the way. Beat Leicester along the way. 7-2 at home. Lazio along the way. And then Porto in the final. And we even had Declan Rice sent off on the 34th minute. And we still won 5-2. Europa League winners, champions. Uh, in the league, 69 points. Add that up with uh, Man City's 102. We're on for a very good tactic. Uh, Goldham's a 21. We lost 13. We drew three and we won 22. We don't like draws. We either win or we lose. It's all out attack. Fifth place, not bad at all. Bowen is the top goal scorer, 24 goals. And that's, that, that's your lot. That is your lot. Average rating wise, it's the only it's the same guys. Creswell, 7.59. Zuma, 7.48. And Diop's there with a 7.36. Clean sheets, I'm not expecting many. Seven, which is about uh, what I would be expecting. Most points per game. Fifth place, a 1.82. Most goals, 92 goals. Not quite the 131. Come on, West Ham. West Ham, most shots for, 767. Fewer shots against, no. Best pass completion, this is where we just say no. No, most possession. Most tackle ones, yes. 637 in sixth place. Most dribbles made, no. Most clean sheets, no. Fewest conceded, it's a big fat no. But we did win Europa League. Runner up in the FA Cup. Got knocked out the quarter final of the Carabao Cup against Man City. But it's all about the points. 69 points. It's looking good so far. Let's check out Norwich. So it's the start of the season and this is Norwich's best 11 without restrictions. And for one final time, let's check out the results. Won the Carabao Cup, it's a bit of an early bath. We lost 2-1 in the second round, so that's done and dusted. In the FA Cup, we got to the quarterfinal and lost against Chelsea 3-4. We did beat QPR, Crew Alexander, Peterborough United along the way, but you expect us to win them games. In the league, looking very good, 65 points. Golden to five. We lost 15. We didn't draw that many games again, two, and we won 21. Uh, Pookie is the top goal scorer for us and second overall in the league with 26 goals. Billy Gilmore with 15 goals chipping in. Uh, average rating wise, what do we have? Billy Gilmore, the best performer for us. Ninth place overall, a 7.36. And Pookie in 15th place with a 7.26. So not bad at all. Clean sheets, I'm not expecting a very money at all. And we only kept five. Uh, straight to the team overall view. Most points per game, sixth place for 1.71. Most goals, better than West Ham, 100 goals. Most shots for, joint second place, 689. Fewer shots against, we're not on there. Best pass completion, no. Most possession, no. Most tackles, one, yes. Just about, eighth place, 584. Most dribbles made, most clean sheets, fewest conceded. We'll just skip on. This has done really, really well. We're definitely in the top 20. Are we going to be in the top 10? Man City, that was a lot of points, 102 points. Not bad with West Ham and not bad with Norwich at all. Let me add up all these points and put it in our fun tactic test league table, which is coming up next. Run like how Nat VAP 103 All Cups comes in at number 8 spot. Fantastic tactic. It won 76, the same amount as our top tactic. And the thing that lets it down, it only drew 8 games but lost 30, the most out of any in this top 20. But 176, lost 30, drew 8. A golden was 113, a points tally of 236 points. A really, really good tactic, a fun tactic as well. You're going to score a lot, a lot of goals. Just make sure you're a good defence. Thank you so much for watching. Like I say, I am giving away FM23 soon, a copy of FM23. Stay tuned for that. Thank you again. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.